Hi, my name is Amy Heisey, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw the Eucharist and a chalice using simple lines and simple shapes in honor of Corpus Christi. For this project, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw our Eucharist. And if you'd like, you can use something like a quarter to trace so you can get a perfect circle. So that's what I'm going to do. Work smarter, not harder, right? So I'm going to take my quarter and I'm going to trace around it, creating a circle. And you, of course, can make your circle as big or as small as you wish. You can use any round object to trace. And I'm just going to adjust my lines, kind of tweak it, make sure it looks just the way I want it to. And that creates the main shape of our host. And um, the last thing that we're going to do to our host is um, you can draw a cross by doing an up and down line in the middle and one that goes side to side going the opposite way. And um, everybody's Eucharist hosts look different depending on what church you go to. Sometimes you see um, the letters IHS or JHS or lots of other different variations on the host, so it's up to you how you want to customize yours, or maybe you just want to leave it blank with nothing on it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to draw out the top of our chalice. So the chalice um, top, it's open and it is the shape of a long skinny oval. So we have our Eucharist host um, kind of overlapping this top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this line down here at the bottom. So a little bit below where your host is, we're going to draw a curved line for the bottom of our oval shape. Think kind of like a smile. And what I want to do is I want this to come up and curve behind the host and you're going to stop and you're going to continue on the opposite side and connect it to create this nice flat oval and that creates the opening of our chalice. So for this part it's going to be like a big letter U kind of shape and of course you can make any adjustments that you wish. I'm going to start at the top of my circle and I'm going to draw a line that comes down and curves at the bottom and then curves up and connects to the opposite side. So it creates this big U swoop. So that is the main shape of my chalice. We're going to be working on the handle um, next. So we're going to do two straight lines coming down for this top section, one on the left and one on the right. I'm going to connect it with a curved line, kind of like a smile. So that creates this segment. We're going to do this segment next. It's kind of a uh, semicircle, so curves on the edge, it kind of comes around and connects to the other side. So it's kind of like this um, circle, semicircle shape. We're going to draw two lines, one on each side to create these curved edges. So I'm gonna start over here on the left. So kind of where this line connects to the cup part of the chalice that's holding the most precious blood, I'm going to continue that line on this opposite side of that little circle oval shape. And I'm going to come down a little bit. And once I come down a little, I'm going to start to curve my line more towards the left side and stop however tall I want that to be. So it's a nice gradual swoop off towards the left. 
And I want to do something similar on the right side, but this is going to be the opposite. So it's going to come down, kind of matching up where it connected to this portion. And it's coming down, but swooping off towards the right, like so. So once I have my lines kind of the same length down at the bottom, I want to connect them with a curved line, kind of like a smile. So starting over on this left side, I'm going to start at the bottom left, curve and go over towards the bottom right and connect them together. I want to do a similar curved line that matches this one, but a little bit higher up. And that's kind of creating like this beveled edge or kind of like this like little um, ridge. So leaving a little bit of space between the bottom of the cup, I'm going to do a similar curve that goes all the way across left to right in a shallow curve like a smile. So I have all these different rays of light coming around the host and you can add that in if you would like. What I like to do is I like to start by putting one in the middle, kind of like this, and then I kind of add extra lines on each side. And you can make these as fancy or as simple as you wish. After you finish drawing your chalice and your Eucharist, you can color your artwork and you can use any art supplies. I'm going to be using markers because that's what shows up well on camera. And when I use markers, I love to use um, pens kind of like these to help outline everything. You, of course, can use any art supplies that you wish. One thing that I did when I colored my piece was I added this highlight. I left the white of the paper showing, that way it looks really bright and shiny on this left side of the chalice. And I made it a little bit darker over on this right side. So I'm gonna quickly show you how you can do that. I started off by putting in a curved line here and I added another line here. And everything around that at the top, I filled in with my chalice color, kind of like this. And over on this right side, I added extra gold on this right side to make it look a little bit more shadowy. So I can do that this in the same way here, leave um, a little bit of the white of my paper showing, kind of like this, and leaving a little bit showing down at the bottom as well. And I just darkened that right side of my chalice with more of the same color or darker color if you if you want. And that makes it look like it's a little bit more three-dimensional. Thank you so much for following along. I would love to see how your drawings turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. And if you enjoyed following along with today's tutorial, know that I post new Catholic inspired art tutorials here on my channel every week. Another way that you can help support the channel is through my Buy Me A Coffee page and art supply wish list. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for following along and I'll see you in the next video.